It's allegations. Well, it's just based, no on, based on this. It's all based on. That's what it's all based on. When Dominic shot the air ball, in fact, he, when the guy wrote the article, he said that, you know, Dominic's a 77 percent free throw shooter, and he missed three out of four free throws the last part of the game. That, 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 that's it. Have any investigators talked to you? There, any? There, there were, and the B said that. Uh, the, play, the FBI or somebody was looking into it. To be called the FBI and asked them to look into it, they, nobody found anything. No, so it was they called and asked them to look into it. Then they wrote and said that they're looking into it. Did the FBI call you? Coach? No, no, they had, there's nothing there. I, believe me, if there, if anything like this happened, I would be totally shocked, and I would never coach again because that's the worst thing you can say about anybody. To me, point shaving is the worst thing that you'd ever say about anybody, and you know and. I, I would hope that somebody would have sub be substantial before they print something. But if you read the article, the whole article is all uh, innuendos and rumors. Strong feelings voiced by Jerry Tarkanian uh, just a few moments ago. Let's introduce now Irv Brown joining us on the telecast today. Irv, uh, a tough thing to hit you on a game like this when you've got to play basketball and try and keep your season alive. You know what? As soon as the ball is tossed up, everybody will forget it. You've got a couple of great competitors coaching against each other today. Tulsa won the early game, so they move on into the next bracket and will face the winner of this game. That's exactly right. TCU's got a couple of very good players. I'll tell you what, this thing could be a shootout. Don't blink, folks, or you're going to miss some action. It's a run-and-gun team and a couple of big guys for Malcolm Johnson and Mike Jones. They yeah. make these guys go. Well, you know what? They average 35 between them. These guys can flat shoot, and they're not afraid to shoot. They're used to scoring. Could be fun. Okay, we'll be back with the starting lineups from Las Vegas right after this timeout. Bulldog basketball is brought to you by Unical 76, a proud sponsor of the Bulldog. 76, we get it. The Clever Idea people from Plymouth are at it again with another clever idea. Plymouth Voyager Plus. What's the plus? A great lease rate, just $1.99 a month. Plus air conditioning, seven passenger seating, and a whole lot more for this great lease rate. Now that's a big plus. Plymouth Voyager Plus. Get into your Northern California Chrysler and Plymouth dealer. It's the new place to be. Stop everything. Hold it right there. Before you go one step further, break the steak at Applebee's. And don't miss one juicy tender bite of Applebee's sizzling house sirloins or Cajun marinated Bourbon Street steak. There's spicy steak burritos, crispy steak nachos, steak every way you want it. So whatever you're doing, wherever you're going, stop and break for steak at Applebee's. America's favorite neighbor, Applebee's. If your customer has gained or lost weight, and we've altered the waist of his pants before, we'll re-alter them at no additional charge. I guarantee it. The Men's Warehouse in Fresno, Visalia, and Bakersfield. Here's your New York Life starting lineup. Richard Swearingen, Barton Ishida, Mix Maldino, Darren Wu, Kevin Alexander, and Patrick Alexander. It's the winning team from New York Life, proud sponsors of the Fresno State Bulldogs. So here's your dilemma, people. Does Emerald Petroleum give the customer a squeezy and clean soapy water or carry the talking car? You're my best friend. Let's test it. Yeah! Research doesn't lie. What do you want from your gas station? Toy cars or something a bit more useful? Like squeegees and clean soapy water. 76, we get it. Today's starting lineup is brought to you by Perko's Cafe, beginning with TCU Horn Frogs. Starting up front, Dennis Davis, a 6'9 junior, Damian Walker, a 6'7 sophomore. Prince Fowler is a defensive specialist for Billy Tubbs, and the two big guns we talked about, Malcolm Johnson and Mike Jones. Head coach is Billy Tubbs in his third season at TCU after 14 years at Oklahoma. For the Fresno State Bulldogs, the Wax Pacific Division champion starting up front will be Damon Forney and Darnell McCullough. In the middle, Rasan Smith, who has really picked up his game over the last nine or ten games. Also, Chris Heron, back-to-back 35-point -back games, and Kendrick Brooks with another start, the senior, 6'5", out of New Orleans. Head coach Jerry Tarkane, and as we mentioned, 130 and 6 here as head coach of the Rebels on this floor. Just 0-2, though, for the Bulldogs this season. Looking for his first win at Thomas and Matt as Fresno State's head coach. We'll be back with you. 
like a rock. Chevy CK is the only full-size pickup that's best when you buy it. Like a rock. Best when you own it. And best when you sell it. End of story. Like a rock. Chevy, the most dependable, longest-lasting trucks on the road. For over 40 years, the name Merle Stone has meant more of what Central Valley truck buyers expect from a Chevy dealership. The name Merle Stone means exceptional value and selection. How about over 150 Chevy trucks to choose from? Extended cabs, S10 pickups, Blazers, Astro Vans, Tahoes, and Suburbans. We'll show you our straightforward bottom line price up front. Come see what the name Merle Stone can mean to you. Remember, when it's got our name on it, you've got our word on it. At the Merle Stone dealerships in Tulare and now in Porterville. Welcome back to Las Vegas. We're ready to get this one underway. Rashad Smith and Damian Walker at the center circle. Scott Thornley throws it up, and we are underway in Las Vegas. Bulldogs win the opening tip. A couple of real offensive-minded ball clubs. Fresno will play some defense. TCU wants to get it back right away, Ralph. McCullough has really picked it up the last few games as well. He's been a terror on the boards. Nice move, the left-hander. Misses everything we've on Jones. Here come the Horn Frogs. Well, they really like the three. Malcolm Johnson walked with the basketball. So an early turnover, and you can see up and down the TCU. Take a look at the matchup here. So you know they're going to get it up and down and throw it in a lot. Look at the three-point efforts we'll see. TCU ranked fourth in the nation in scoring. 84 and a half points a game, and that leads the line. And I'll tell you what's interesting, Ralph. Billy Tubbs and Jerry Tarkenton have a lot of respect for each other. They've fought against each other before. Billy started out in Lamar, Jerry at Long Beach. Neither one of them made any money. They were just a couple of programs. And then they really made things go here at UNLV and at Oklahoma. Bulldogs kind of misfiring on passes, but not on shots. Is Chris Heron his first three of the day? Is there a better guard in America right now? 35, the last two outings. He's a warrior. Everything you expected him to be when he transferred from BC. Rebound, foul four. Walker comes out with Prince Fowler hits the two-pointer. Prince a transfer from Oklahoma. Billy Tubbs recruited him down there. He'll play some defense. Look at him. He's down in the stance. Teams nearly mirror images, although TCU plays defense the way Jerry Charpini would like to. He says uh, they're able to press and chop a little more than he can with this team. Yeah, they really do. Plus, they want to shoot the basketball within 10, 15 seconds. They don't like to use the clock. Winner gets Tulsa. Tulsa and UNLV for a full house today. And they got a pretty good crowd right now, Ralph. That's almost a catch-22 situation for the team that plays the next game. Tulsa, very talented. Walking with the basketball, so no basket. Second turnover. Our officials, see you. I'm sorry, Ralph. Our officials, Scott Thornley, the lead. He's worked the Final Four. Jim Stupin, he's worked the Final Four. Mark Reisling, Stupin and Reisling from California. Thornley from Idaho. Pick up on the Tulsa game again. Tulsa is 65. 68-65 winner of the UNLV. Heron now with five points. Jones back quickly the other way and lays it up and in. So, TCU beats the Bulldogs back in transition. Yeah, I'll tell you what, they're very good at that. And this Jones can play. They didn't know how much he played this year coming in from Northeastern uh, Oklahoma a and m Average is 17 a game. The all-newcomer team for the last. Corner's taking it the other way himself. Foul over the back. Going to be called on Rosanne Smith. All right, let's pick it up. Once again, there's always been a controversy. Do you block out or do you just jump and go get the ball? In this case, TCU blocks out, and they're rewarded with a foul. We shoot at seven. First team foul on Fresno. No good. Jones comes off with a rebound. Puts up one. That's a three-pointer for Jones. Oh, you got to get a hand in his face. He was a three-sport at Oklahoma City. He came out of high school. A lot of people wonder what he do. He's that talented. 
Jones has five of TCU seven points. Bulldogs trail for the first time today. Aaron draws the foul. He will shoot free throws. Prince Fowler whistles for his first foul. Fall River, Massachusetts. One of the most highly recruited guys to come out, transferred after starting out at BC. There's a look at his coach, Jerry Tarkini. We'll show you some numbers a little later on. He's a tournament coach. I sat with him 40 minutes before this game. And you think he isn't ready to play. This is what Jerry lives for, to win it all. Now, what a job they did on that trip to Hawaii. And they didn't wind it up. really got it going for him. And, and you know, you think about that. Going over Hawaii has played so good this year. I don't think a lot of people give him a chance over there. He did a terrific job. Gets his own rebound. Puts it back up on his first two points for Malcolm Johnson. Too many second shots for uh, TCU, and Jerry Tarkenian will address that at halftime. You can be sure of that. McCullough, coast to coast. There's two points for Brian McCullough. How good is that? A turnover. Another turnover for TCU. Three turnovers for the Horned Frogs. It'll be Bulldog basketball out of bounds when we come back. There's a timeout on the floor of Fresno State, down by one. Bulldog basketball is brought to you by Serpa Automotive Group, the name you can trust in Visalia, Tulare, and Hanford. Frank, your new facility is a divine. And our customer satisfaction is heavenly, Father. And I see your prices are still so low. A Kia Sportage or Suzuki a Sidekick utility vehicles for under $14,000 with a free maintenance of program. It's a miracle. Serpa, the name you can trust. For heavenly prices, Serpa Automotive Group. 220 South Bend Maddox at the Visalia Auto Mall. Give me a beer. Well, let's see, uh, we got uh, Sycamore Smith Ale, Pale Ale, Pale Ale Dark, Pale Ale Light, Wapner's Lager, Wapner's Wheat, Honey Wheat, Light Wheat, Wheat Wheat, Homburg Light, Dark, Dark Amber Light. Just give me a Coors. Since 1873, original Coors, pure and simple. Why'd you come back? What a tense game. I wonder what Tark is thinking. Wow, what stress. I'm glad I've got a Simmons Beauty Rest and Hold from God Shop. That's right. The best cure for a stressful day is a good night's sleep. To celebrate winning the WAC Pacific Division Championship, all Simmons Beauty Rest styles and sizes are 15% off at God Shop. Plus, defer payment until July 1997. So relax and sleep right with Simmons Beauty Rest, now 15% off at God Shop. Tell them Tart sent you. Bulldog fans, now is your chance to meet some of the players and coaches in the Fresno State basketball programs. For information on the women's basketball camps, call 278-2236. For the men's basketball camp coming up this month, call 278-2748. Get involved with Fresno State men's and women's basketball. We're out for the early going. It's Jones versus Heron. Six points to five, and here goes Heron again. Nice. Darnell McCullough finishes off. Four points for McCullough. Fresno State regains the lead. 10-9. Bulldogs do not have a rebound yet in this game. They're not rebounded 7 to nothing. Yeah, we inside. That is something that, uh, you know, if you think about it, of course, Heron has uh, knocked a couple down McCullough, so there's not going to be a lot of rebounds, but TCU is doing some damage at the other end. Fowler going to the line. The foul was called on Dominic Young, who is in the game now. His first foul. Prince Fowler shooting two. Fowler was 73% free throw shooter. Gets the first. He has three points. And we're tied at 10. This is home. He's from Las Vegas. Great All-American. Went to OU, as we mentioned. Drafted by Billy Tuff. Recruited. And second one. No good. Jones comes up with a rebound. And lays it up and in. This is a problem with Blake Fresno all year long. That's the seventh, the seventh point, I should say, for Jones. Jones has seven of TCU's 12, then a steal on the inbound play. Okay, this is getting ugly. They can't get it out of their end. Five quick points now for TCU. There's always somebody open, though, when you have full court pressure. Whistle and a foul on Prince Fowler. 
That will be his second. The out of bounds, Fresno State. Chris Heron wants a shooting foul, but the, there it is. Yeah. Beats him to the turn. And there's a hand check. Jim Stukin's a veteran. Not going to happen. Two team fouls on both ball clubs. Bulldogs now facing a four point deficit after five straight by TCU. Heron three pointer, no good rebound Davis. Davis a big wide body. If he can stay healthy, he can hurt you because he doesn't ha lose that quickness with that wide body. Walker, fall away, hits. David Walker was so good a year ago. Last year, the nation's second highest scoring freshman. Corny misses the dunk. Jones saves it for Davis. Seven straight points now for TCU. Jones, nine in a row for TCU. It's a very dangerous ball club. Jerry Jarkenny wants a 20-second timeout. Right now, it is all TCU. Nine straight points for the Horned Frogs. Nine points in the game for Mike Jones. It was a 10-9 Fresno State lead. Just like that, down 18 to 10 are the Bulldogs. Here's a slam at the other end. You think it's a gimme. A lot of times, if you'll just jam it with two hands, that doesn't happen. And then the Horn Frogs like to get it up and down early offense. And Jones is just a terrific shooter. Backs it down from the corner. Eight-point lead. We were tied at 10. Actually, Fresno State even had a 10-9 lead. So you're looking at nine straight for TCU. Fresno's the really bothering. Really bothering Fresno State. Terrence Roberson in the game. Heron lays it up and in. So that ends a 9 to nothing run by TCU. Heron has been the offense. Back quickly. Jones, no good. 40. Off Jones and out of bounds. One thing to think about, when you press somebody, somebody is going to be open. If you can break the press, they throw it away. And that'll come all the way back to the other end now since nobody touched it. TCU's pressure has really been the story of this game. Second turnover for Fresno State. Jerry Tarkanian talking to uh, Terrence Roberson about how to execute that play. Johnson three. Long. Rebound. Tied up inside. That ball will go to Fresno uh, on the possession arrow. One of the worst rules we've ever had. Here's a shot, long rebound. TCU's been much the more aggressive team on the board. There's a tie-up. No, I beg your pardon. The possession arrow goes to uh, TCU. Dennis Davis and Terrence Roberson tying it up, and Heron with a steal of the inbound. Looks to take it all the way and turn. So four straight points for Chris Heron. He's in double figures with 10. He's got 10. McCullough's got uh, the other buckets, and that's it. nearly stolen by Dominic Young. Young does come out with it. Got a man if you can see him. It's Mecklin. Trains him. Six straight for Fresno State. And it all started with Heron's hustle and aggressiveness. That time Dominic Young with a sweet pick. Red Holmes with an opening. Nice right hand shot by Mike Jones. He has 11. He's a all slasher. Do we think this game would be up and down? I think so. Heron again. 12 for Chris Heron. Stripped by Heron from Jones. Here come the Bulldogs again. Heron's got the hot hand. Hey, Philly Jones wants it a 27 time. Ralph, do you believe it? Now listen to this crowd. I wondered what the crowd would do after uh, Las Vegas. The Rebels get they get beat. The crowd is for Jerry Tarkanian. 14 points for Chris Heron in less than seven minutes. It's time again for This Week in Bulldog Sports, brought to you by Glendale Federal Bank. This weekend, the second-ranked Fresno State softball team will host three WAC doubleheaders at Bulldog Diamond. On Friday and Saturday, the Bulldogs host Tulsa. First pitch, 6 o'clock on Friday and 1 o'clock on Saturday. And on Sunday, Fresno State hosts Colorado State. First pitch at 5 p.m. For ticket information, call 278-DOGS. Bulldog baseball team will host San Diego State in a three-game WAC series this weekend. 
First pitch, 7 p.m. Friday and Saturday, 1 o'clock start on Sunday. For ticket information, call 278-DOGS. This week in Bulldog Sports, been brought to you by Glendale Federal Bank. Well, who's going to blink, Jones or Heron? They've been the story. 25 points between the two of them. Anthony Burks into the game, hits the three-pointer. He was a starter last year. TCU regains the lead. This is Heron. Takes it in again. 16 points for Chris Heron. And this is a charge. Count the basket. Mark Reisling with the call. I was talking to Mel Daniels, who scouts for the Pacers. He wants to take a look at this guy. You can see why. I'll tell you what, that's not a good call. I'll tell you why. When you jump in the air, you're entitled to come down. He was in the air, and then the man moved in. That's one the official, when he reviews, won't be too happy with his performance. Right now, Jerry Turk Kennedy doesn't like it at all. <laughs> Count the basket, but the foul is on Chris Heron. The rebound, that's going to be TCU basketball off of Bulldog, off of Dominic Young's foot. It was 10 to 9, it was 10 to 10, and then TCU jumped up by 8 18 points. 10. And now the Horned the, uh, Frogs lead it by 1. Walk with the ball. Try to knife between a couple of Fresno State defenders. Seventh turnover for TCU. Bulldogs with the basketball and a chance to regain the lead. The press has been good to uh, TCU and it's also hurt him because Heron has sliced through and picked up four of his uh, 16 points against the press. Fresno State has been good in transition, but not in the set offense. And there's a turnover, the third of the game for the Bulldogs. 7-3, TCU with the seven turnovers, but that's going to happen when you run and gun like the home frogs do. And there's a gun from Mike Jones. Oh, is he sweet? Oh, pretty good transfers uh, on these two ball clubs doing it. 13 points for Jones. Dominic Young, three-pointer in and out. Macklin had it. Stanley control. Here's Stanley and Davis lean on each other. They pose a couple of big bodies. Heron pulls up. No good. Macklin gets the loose ball. Puts that one up and in. You know, he's been playing better. Got eligible uh, run in January, if I remember right, Ralph. Doing a good job. This is just his 10th game. Coming off a career high 13 at San Diego State. Ball swept away by Heron. And a foul inside on Fresno State. Chris Heron knocked the ball away from Mike Jones, but Jones got it back and then drew the foul. When you cap a shot, if you return to the ground, that's a jump ball. Now watch this. That's a jump ball. When he put it on the ground, he traveled. The foul came after that. Chris Heron's going to get a rest for Fresno State with his 16 points. Karee Stanley also going to the bench. That's Dennis Davis leading the game for TCU. In for the Bulldogs now, starting for five of Rasan Smith. Darnell McCullough just checking in. Dominic Young, Kendrick Brooks, Daniel Mecklen. Jones with 13 points, four rebounds. This is his first trip to the free throw line. Just a junior, 6'3", 210. Oklahoma City, 76% from the line. This team is a, a great free throw shooting team, 73%. Ranks 15th in the nation. Jones makes them both. He has 15 in the game, and TCU leads by three. I'm Mr. Brent Wood, inviting you to join the 5,000 families who now own a Brentwood home built by Westcal. They know owning a home is smarter than paying rent because Brentwood is priced from the 90s and includes superior Clovis schools. Come see our neighborhoods today, Fort Washington in Fresno and Buchanan or Park Avenue in Clovis and receive up to $5,000 in bonus bucks. There's a Brentwood home just right for your family. Bullet at Temperance in Clovis and Maple north of Shepherd in Fresno. Take it from me, Mr. Brent Wood. Looks like you could use a little silver dollar off right now. Won't you come inside? Delicious food to suit your appetite. Made right, made now. That's a silver dollar half brow. Yeah, your friends are waiting with your beer. Baby, baby, it's a cool place in here. Looks like you could. 
could use a little silver dollar off from now. The clever idea people from Plymouth are at it again with another clever idea. Plymouth Voyager Plus. What's the plus? A great lease rate, just $1.99 a month. Plus air conditioning, seven passenger seating, and a whole lot more for this great lease rate. Now that's a big plus. Plymouth Voyager Plus. Get into your Northern California Chrysler and Plymouth dealer. It's the new place to be. Back in Las Vegas, 11.06 remaining in the first half of the ball game. Fresno State trailing TCU by three, and it's been the big guns for each team. Jones with 15. Heron has 16 of the Bulldogs, 24. It's like Tyson and Holyfield. Who's going to who's going to take the first shot and sit down, huh? And who's going to have enough gas or bench strength? Can you believe the shooting? 64% to 61. The addition goes to Vegas. That's amazing. 11 of 18 for uh, Fresno. TCU 11 of 17. That's incredible shooting. On the uh, alternate possession, Fresno State with the ball out of bounds. Under 11 minutes now remaining in the first half. Kelly gets it to him. In the corner, Young for three. Too long, Brooks has it go off his hands and out of bounds. Got to get somebody else involved. There's only four points out on that floor right now in the form of McCullough. Brooks Young got to got to help out a little bit. Smith has had some big ball games lately. Got to do some scoring. Heron can't carry this club along. Three-point attempt from Burks will go out of bounds. So Fresno State will get the basketball back down by three. 10-19 remaining before halftime. Uh, TCU's biggest lead was eight at 18 to 10. Bulldogs came back to tie at 20. Great right pass. Oh, 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 blocking foul. Boy, you hope everybody gets up after that collision. That looks like the LA freeway. Brooks will shoot free throws. The foul on Saipeli Tuli. Here's the effort. Boy, you hate to see that. Fortunately, everybody's up. And Brooks, who was all conference a year ago, will go the line. Hard on the back for Kendrick Brooks. Works a 73 percenter from the free throw line. 6'5 senior out of New Orleans. He's fourth leading scorer a year ago. Gets his first points of this game. This is his 12th straight start. Been in double figures three of the last four. Good, good defender. He really works hard defensively even when his shot is off. He's just an athlete. First time I saw him. In fact, he's one of the, they still talk about him down in Houston. He's one of the better athletes to come out of there. So this thing has settled down. UNLV is beating the press now, letting Dominic Young do it on the dribble, getting everybody out of the way after they bring it in. I'll tell you this, Ralph, this TCU's got some quickness. Speed never has a bad day. They've got some. McCullough knocked that one out of bounds for Fresno State. It will be TCU basketball. 12 on the shot clock. Chris Heron back in the game as McCullough goes to the bench. Jones. High arc shot. A lot of times you worry if you only have 12 seconds to get a shot off. But with Billy Tubbs, that's actually too much. <laughs> 17 points now for Mike Jones. A couple of coaches who are used to being in the Final Four. Billy finished second in Kansas. You know, he was supposed to win it. Danny Manning got hot. And of course, Jerry Tarkanian won it all in Denver with a great effort. Fourth turnover for the Bulldogs as Malcolm Johnson just took that one away from Kelly Brooks. Tooley for three, and he hits. Side Bailey Tooley. Now 10 of 20 from three-point range, so he doesn't take him very often, but he's 50%. He's not a bad player. Southgate, California. 
broke his ankle last year. He didn't get to play much. He, he contributed. Deflected by Forney. Behind the back. Keeps it. He has Heron. Behind the back to Forney again. <laughs> Crowd kind of like that. What a sequence that was. Forney went behind the back to save it at one end. And then Heron with the behind the back pass back to Forney. Good to see Creed Roy, isn't it? Didn't you tell me you were going to see them tonight? I don't think I can afford that show. Johnson with a three at the other end. I guess tell you now, this DCU out there, people talk about them. They're dangerous. It's just a dangerous team because they're not afraid to fall behind and come back after it. They can shoot it. They're so quick. Aaron has that one blocked by Damian Walker. Jones. 19 for Jones. And that is... The biggest lead of the game for TCU, up by nine. Timeout on the floor, 7.56 remaining in the first half. Bulldogs need a rally. When the people at GMC came up with value pricing for their eight-passenger safari van, they looked at what the competition offered and took it one step further. Load the standard safari van with a powerful V6, air conditioning front and rear, power locks, power windows, AM FM stereo cassette, and much more. At just $22,453, we are out to prove we're putting value on the road like never before. And now get 3.9% APR GMAC financing for up to 60 months. See your San Joaquin Valley GMC dealer today. Now open direct to the public, Fresno Jewelry Mart. No waiting for sales, just wholesale plus prices every day. And Fresno Jewelry Mart has diamond engagement rings, anniversary bands, diamond tennis bracelets, gold chains, and diamond earrings. 40, 50, even 60% off prevailing retail. Fresno Jewelry Mart, corner of Fresno and Alluvio. Silver Bullet. It's frost brewed to tap the clean taste of the Rockies. Tap the Rockies! Tap the wide mouth. The Coors Light wide mouth can with a giant opening for a smoother pour. Tonight at 7, will turning 40 slow down the tool man? It's home improvement followed by more home improvement only on your station, KMPH, Box 26. Here in Las Vegas, 7.56 remaining in the first half of our game, and TCU has opened up its biggest lead. Fort Fox now up by nine. It'll be Bulldog basketball out of bounds. TCU still lighting it up, 56%. Uh, Not a bad shooting percentage. Still Fresno State down by nine. But TCU hitting it to nearly seven out of 10 clip. A whistle and a stoppage of play for a wet spot on the floor right in front of the TCU bench. I think Billy Tubbs want to get some TV time. Now he can do his Jack Nicholson imitation. I'm going to tell you, he's pretty good. <laughs> There's Billy. Played and coached at Lamar. Then at OU. And he went to Oklahoma. It was uh, kind of a, an intermission between football and spring football. And him and Dave Bliss really changed that. This guy can coach. you got two guys that really know what they're doing out there. They have a style. They stay with it. And you're going to see a lot of streaks. TCU on a streak right now, an 8-2 to two run. Forney, whistle walk. and he walks. So the fifth turnover of the game for Fresno State. A score on this possession would uh, give the Bulldogs a double-digit deficit. Ouch. Malcolm Johnson, three-pointer. He has ten. Malcolm can do it. And the Tubbs wanted him big time. He was able to get him and Jones. His program's right on schedule. He's got 19 basketball games this year. 12 point TCU lead. Seven minutes remaining in the first half. As Forney puts it up and in. Four points in the game for Forney. All American. Plays just one year of high school. Away by Macklin. 
another turnover. That's nine now for TCU. Aaron hadn't taken the shot since he came back. Went out for a brief rest after getting his quick 16. Young had a good look at the three-pointer, but couldn't get it to go down. Fowler with the rebound. Jones around Heron. Puts it up and in. 21. Ralph, he stops on the dime. He doesn't have any trouble elevating. This guy's a real deal. Jones averaging 17 points a game. He has 21 already. Six minutes left in the first half. Doing it at both ends of the floor. I tell you what, Jones made a believer out of me. I saw him in the Utah game get 36. The Utah plays defense. Johnson with another three. And this is getting ugly. 13 for Malcolm Johnson, a 15-point lead. TCU. Heron for three. That's one. Johnson with a rebound. Bulldogs misfiring. Deflected by Macklin. Taken out of the air by Brooks. Forney lays it up and in. Offensive foul, no basket. Boy, he stood his ground and took the charge. Indeed he did. Let's pick it up here. Normally you shoot and then charge. In this case, the official rules that he charges. I see it. That's a flop. Well, the call is the contact before the shot, so no basket by Forney. Steady gets the foul. Fresno State down by 15. Dennis Davis has that one partially blocked by Rasan Smith, and Davis loses it out of bounds. You saw Fresno State just one three-pointer in the ball game. You have to be impressed with TCU's range. Five minutes left in the half. Let's see if uh, Fresno can get this thing down under double digits. Directing Lewis Harrell under the basket. You got a shot to drive. TCU can really do get up close. Young. Three. Rebound Davis. Fourth rebound for Dennis Davis. Prince Power. That three pointer is no good. Rebound Kendrick Brooks. Great job, great pass by Dominic Young, and a great job of controlling the traffic by Daniel Macklin. He has six. That was not an easy catch, Ralph. That was really impressive. There's one inside. inside. Foul going to be called on Heron, away from the ball. Let's pick up the pass and the catch. Takes care of the pivot foot. Good effort. That's a 16 foul on Fresno. There's only been three on TCU. The officials will let him play. Second personal foul on Chris Heron. Darnell McCullough checks back into the game for Jerry Tarkanian's Bulldogs. He replaces Kendrick Brooks. Knocked off of Chris Heron. Heron got it. Thought he tipped it off of the TCU player. But it will be TCU basketball. Jones may have been stripped by Young on the way up. Heron ahead of Jones. Lays it up. Tough the basket. He's fouled. Hey, how about the pass from Dominic Young after he gets the pick? That's the lead to 11. A pitch coming. Jones goes up to the jumper. They strip him. There's the foul at the other end. Heron has got the good body control. It's his 18th point. Him and Jones have been on fire. 21 for Jones, 18. For Chris Heron is at the line. They get 19 now for Heron. It's a 10-point deficit for Fresno State. A couple of great passes by Dominic Young leading to baskets. But Jones answers at the other end. 24 points in the game for number 24. That's not what did Frank Selby once throw in? <laughs> this guy, he missed a shot. He had one block. Aaron, this is the This is Young. Drives inside. That 
it was a little garbage play, I think, but Rashawn Smith cashed it in. His first points of the game. Yeah, it's not how, it's how many. Well done. Sheriff right off right somebody in there. Smith scored it. Let's see Two if they trap That's 11 turnovers now for TCU, but the Horn Frogs lead by 11. We'll be right back after this timeout. Don't let the good looks fool you. This is no wimp truck. Mile after mile, load after load, year after year. Chevy full-size pickups just keep on hauling. But don't take our word for it. Chevy full-size trucks. The best when you buy them, best when you drive them, the best when you sell them. Good looks, no extra charge. Get one today at your Central Valley Chevrolet Geo dealer. Liquor King blows away the competition. With the cheapest kegs in town, Liquor King has a huge selection of fine wine and beer, no matter what your favorite brand is. Liquor King can set you up with your next party or picnic with everything you need to have a great summer. Plus, Liquor King offers check cashing and money orders available for you when you need it. For all your party and picnic needs, your one-stop shop, Liquor King on Blackstone at Herndon. Maybe someone else knows business insurance better than we do, but they're not in Fresno or Central California. We are Reinhardt. The name means insurance. My favorite Martin is so handsome. I can't believe it. I don't believe it. He's caring and he's giving. Yeah, he gives me a pain. So who's your favorite Martin? This one. Weeknights at 6 on Fox 26. Tonight and every night, you're invited to tune in to the Valley's only primetime newscast. It's news ahead of its time. The KMPH 10 o'clock news only on Fox 26. An 11-point deficit facing uh, Jerry Tarkanian in Fresno State with 320 remaining in the first half. TCU 50% from three-point range. Seven out of 14, including the last six straight. Jones and Johnson doing most of the damage as we expected them to do at the uh, top of the telecast. Young, another good look at a three, and this time he hits. Dominic Young, a three-pointer. Boy, the uh, Bulldogs catch a break because Heron ran over a guy. Fisher was following the path to the basketball. Now the crowd's getting into it. Eight-point lead. Bulldogs get it under the double digits, but bang, just like that. Johnson slams it at the other end. He has 15, back up to a 10-point TCU lead. He had seven threes versus Boston. There's a hole. David Forney checking into the basketball game. Fresno State, Rashawn Smith will come out. So Jerry's going to go with a little uh, less size, a little more quickness. Got a wide body. But for TCU to, TCU to go inside is to take a score. Prince Fowler picked up that foul, by the way, for TCU, and it is his third. So the starter will have to go to the bench. We got a problem. I'm not quite sure what it is. Official stop play to it's allow a shot clock. Yes, it is. Shot clock over the TCU basket is not functioning. So you can uh, yeah. get a look at that. It's a little funny, and the numbers are not all the lights are not all lighting up. So they will put a temporary shot clock on the floor in the corner at the other end of the floor from the uh, and the shot you're looking for. There is the seen TCU use a shot clock. <laughs> I expected him to cause some problems with the scoreboard trying to keep up with it, but not the shot clock. Now they've got it. Well, well, it's, it's, it's still not far. So they're going to go to the floor. Both clubs like to shoot quick. Young, two straight three pedals. Six points in the game to Dominic Young. Dominic can get on a roller, and anybody works any harder before a ball game. It's as close as the Bulldogs have been in a while. The walk. And a turnover. That's a dozen turnovers now for TCU. Bulldogs have got what was a 15-point 
TCU lead down to seven. Here's the guy who's been hot. Been hearing on the drive. Dominic Young found the touch from the outside. By his two possessions. Has a pull away, but it goes to Heron for three. That's going to be long. McCullough battling for the rebound, but Johnson comes away with it. Offensive turns, falls, fires, and hits. 17 now for Malcolm Johnson. His average 19. Johnson and Jones have 41 of their points. McCullough in shot and puts it up and in between the defenders. How good was that? Hang in the air. Somehow find it. Very explosive. Six points in the game for McCullough. Corning knocks it out of bounds. 26 on the shot clock, still plenty of time. The thing that, that confuses me is they have left both shot clocks on over the baskets, but not function. Might as well just turn them off. Be a good idea. Like I say, with these two clubs, it really doesn't matter, Ralph, because they do want to get the basketball, get more possessions. Two of them. No good. Rebound. Macklin tried to get it with one hand while Dennis Davis was holding his other one. But no foul call. It's going to be out of bounds. TCU basketball. Macklin went up with the right hand. Davis was holding his left hand down. <laughs> and he couldn't get up, but he knocked the ball out of bounds. Jones for three. No good. Gets the rebound back. Under a minute now, Johnson fires off balance. That's no good. Dominic Young comes up with the basketball. Here comes Wesley right. Rice. Double dribble, didn't he? Yep. Touched the ball twice. That's exactly right. And Scott Thorne has caught it. Dribbling with one hand. The Ralph, ball came think, up and hit the other hand. I think you can referee. Ralph does good. Here it is. And he gets nailed. Scott Thorley catches it. You can't touch the basketball with two hands. 47 seconds left. PCU. Seven. Bulldogs got it down to seven and uh, have misfired on two straight offensive possessions. Jones turns. Rebound comes off the Thule, blocked by Macklin. Davis gets it. Shot clock is off. Jones powers inside. Rebound comes off to Dominic Young. For three. Yes. How big was that? The lead is four. And how did Fresno survive that bullet? The glass was belonging to TCU. Look. Oh! Burks answers with a big three. Six points for Burks. And that one really hurt. The Bulldogs had it down to four. It's halftime here at Las Vegas. Jerry Tarkanian will take a deficit to the locker room here as Fresno State trails TCU by 7, 55 to 48. The clever idea people from Plymouth are at it again with another clever idea. Plymouth Voyager Plus. What's the plus? A great lease rate, just $1.99 a month. Plus air conditioning, seven passenger seating, and a whole lot more for this great lease rate. Now that's a big plus. Plymouth Voyager Plus. Get into your Northern California Chrysler and Plymouth dealer. It's the new place to be. This is a dollar and a quarter. And this is McDonald's California Classic Burger. Tantalizing at a dollar and a quarter. Quarter pound of beef, fresh tomato, leaves of lettuce, and red onion. Built the way you want it on a toasted sesame seed bun or order it fully loaded with cheese and bacon. The taste is bigger than you've had before. Add a Coca-Cola and fries in your favorite size. Try McDonald's California Classic Burger. It's what you want for a dollar and a quarter. Happy had your break today. Over 200 years ago, our forefathers signed the Declaration of Independence, creating the foundation for our freedom. The freedom to voice your opinion. Freedom to take a stand. Freedom to disagree. And now we give you the freedom to choose. The Valley's new Declaration of Independence. Hot Talk 940 AM, KFRE. 
More voices. More choices. Tonight, when opposites attract, it's not always pretty. First, Martin discovers his marriage is worth enemy. David Allen Greer guest stars on a brand new Martin and can two people who hate each other date each other? I find you utterly disgusting. A brand new living single then smack his back. There's a lot of heroin being dealt out of your club. And one undercover yeah. cop could become its next victim. No! New York Undercover. It all starts at 8, 7 Central on Fox. Good afternoon. I'm John Mattles. Hope you're enjoying the Fresno State basketball game. Well, as the Bulldogs gun for a spot in the NCAA tournament, scandalous allegations swarm all over the Fresno State basketball program today. The FBI is reviewing allegations of point shaving by Bulldog players. And all of the speculation centers around guard Dominic Young. Investigators are looking at the Wyoming game February 20th, where the Bulldogs prevailed by eight points. But in question is Dominic Young's performance at the line, missing three in the final minute, including an air ball. Here's how Ralph Wood called it. Fresno State will improve to 17 and 10 overall, but more importantly, 9 and 4 in the whack is Young is now one out of three from the free throw line. He's been a little hard on all the shots. I, I think, you know, he's, 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 he may be rushing a little bit. And, and he's not in a real good rhythm in terms of shooting the ball. And sometimes that's his lack of concentration. Well, that time he, he, he was long. He, he definitely adjusted. Well, the final score in that game was 76-68, to 68, an eight-point Bulldog victory. However, Fresno State was a 10-point favorite, meaning if the bookies bet against the Bulldogs, they win. At one point, Fresno State led by 19 in that game. Allegations are that some players work with the bookies to shave points. Young leads the team with a free-throw shooting average of 77%. In the meantime, head coach Jerry Tarkanian says he has reviewed the film from the Wyoming game and he confronted Young, who denied the allegations. About an hour ago, Ralph Wood spoke with head coach Jerry Tarkanian. Oh, no, they had, there's nothing there. Uh, believe me, if, there, if anything like this happened, I would be totally shocked and I would never coach again because that's the worst thing you can say about anybody. To me, point shaving is the worst thing that you'd ever say about anybody. And, you know, and... I, I would hope that somebody would have sub be substantial before they print something. But if you read the article, the whole article is all uh, innuendos and rumors. And they talk about when we left town, they were saying that the, the investigation was about Dominic and uh, point shaving. Well, they finally agreed that there probably was no point shaving. If he didn't shoot an air ball, there would be nothing. So then they... Just before we left, the big article was he's running around with gamblers. So they investigated that, and he's not even running around with gamblers. He, he goes to a nightclub, you know, looking for girls, just like a lot of other people do. And he uh, meets, runs into some of these guys in a nightclub. That's his only, that's his only involvement with him. He doesn't have nothing social. He's never been anywhere with him other than at a nightclub. Now, that was Jerry Tarkanian just about an hour ago. Once again, nothing has been proven, but the Fresno County Sheriff's uh, Office turned the case over to the FBI. Allegations of Fresno State basketball players working with bookies to shave points. The main focus at it, of the investigation, guard Dominic Young. We're going to have a complete team report tonight on the 10 o'clock news. Please join us then. In the meantime, I'm John Mattles. Now back to the Fresno State basketball game. So where's Alec? I don't know. It didn't work out. He was too complicated. And he wore alligator loafers. Since 1873, original Coors in the yellow can. Alligator loafers? <laughs> <laughs> How would you like to? Or maybe you'd rather... How about... At First Value Travel, you can have it all. The lowest fares to anywhere in the world, anytime. Discounts on already lowest fares for future travel. And exclusive First Value only rates for hotels, car rentals, and tours. So if you want to, or call First Value Travel at 733-0853, where you can have it all. Never before have you seen a vehicle like this. One that can open doors and stay as versatile as you. It's Third Door Sonoma by GMC. Our latest innovation, the first and only vehicle of its kind that's open to it all. 
no matter how open, open happens to be. And now get 3.9% APR GMAC financing. See your San Joaquin Valley GMC dealer today. Time now for Bulldog Spotlight. They are the young guns at Fresno State. Not a senior on the team, the Bulldogs golf squad is going through some growing pain so far this season. It also means that good things are yet to come for these kids on the courts. Well, anytime you have a very young team, there's going to be a lot of inconsistency at the beginning. And as they gain uh, experience, they gain confidence. And that's where we're at right now. We have no seniors in the lineup. We have one junior in the lineup, and the rest are freshmen and sophomores. So there's not a whole lot of experience there. But the good thing is some very young guys are getting experience trip to Hawaii and the John Burns Hawaii Invitational last week may be an indication of what's ahead for this team. The Bulldogs finished 11th among 27 teams. And even though only one Bulldog finished in the top 20, the team seems to be coming together. Yeah, our, our first tournament we finished 20th out of 22 teams. And that, that's not very good. And then the second tournament we got 11th out of 26. And there's probably a little bit stronger field too. So we're pretty happy about that. The way we're heading, we're heading in the right direction. We have a we have guys that are having good tournaments. We just need uh, all of us to put it together in one tournament. So we always have one guy, maybe in the top 10, top 20, but we need to get three or four guys up there in one tournament. So Fresno State hits the road this weekend for a tournament at San Diego State. When we come back, we'll take a close-up look at one of the top dogs on Mike Watney's young team in the second Although he's just a junior, Bulldogs co-captain Mike McGuire has been a leader on the course and off so far this season. Fresno native is coming off a career low round of 69 this past week, the John Burns Hawaii Invitational, tying him for eighth place in the tournament. I had my best finish of my career, finished eighth, uh, shot three under par for three rounds, finished two off the lead, and team-wise we finished 11th out of the field of 26, so it wasn't our best finish, but we're getting better as the year goes on. Yeah, that last tournament gave me a little confidence. I uh, didn't have a real good fall, but each tournament in the spring, I've been getting a little bit better, so the confidence is rising with each tournament. The fall was, uh, it was a disappointing fall, I think, but each tournament we play in, we're getting better. We're, we're losing to some teams, but we're losing by less stroke each tournament, so we're on, on the way up, I think. So far this season, McGuire's the only Bulldog with a top 10 finish, but he's hoping that changes in the next few weeks. For Bulldog Spotlight, I'm Bob Healy. You rented those skates? He rented them, no. yeah. Oh, no knee pads. Do you think you're adventurous enough to think of something that's not here in the Pacific Bell Smart Yellow Pages? Um, <laughs> let me think. Not in the Pacific Bell Smart um, Yellow Pages. Well, the sun's going down. Well. Still thinking? It'll take me a day, but I'll do it. Well, unfortunately, a day is out of the question. But uh, <laughs> don't feel bad, because you know what we say. If it's not in here, uh, maybe it doesn't exist. We weren't ready for this. I don't think you were ready for part. it. No. It's Bobby Salazar's Mexican Restaurant and Cantina for $7 Monday. It's Monday. It must be 7 bucks. Monday, Monday. Chips and salsa, a cup of soup, your choice of over 15 different entrees, and a bottomless soda. Hey, 7 bucks. Every Monday night, just $7. It's Bobby Salazar's with six locations. Bobby Salazar's for friendly service, authentic Mexican cuisine, eat-in, take-out, frozen entrees, party trays, and now $7 Monday. I love you, man. <laughs> Bobby Salazar's. If your customer's clothing gets wrinkled, 800-776-SUIT will connect them to the nearest men's warehouse and will press it for free. I guarantee it. The Men's Warehouse in Fresno, Visalia, and Bakersfield. Here's your New York Life starting lineup. Bob Jones, Dan Stubblefield, Patricia Graham, John Horseman Jr., Richard Elia, Ron Karabian, and Tom Summers. It's the winning team from New York Life. Proud sponsors of the Fresno State Bulldogs.
California businesses and their agencies come to Pappas Teleproductions for video brochures because they know that we offer the experience to motivate new customers with powerful, effective communication. When it's your company's image and message on the line, trust the largest and most experienced production company in the Valley. We specialize in television commercials, long-form video presentations, and video brochures. And we've been doing it longer than anyone else in Central California. Call us at 251-2600. Welcome back to Las Vegas, everybody. Halftime, Fresno State.